A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have you ever made paper chains before? I just made this a few minutes ago and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And the more I look at these paper chains, it makes me think of what Jesus said in today's Gospel passage. Jesus says that whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. The one who sent Jesus is, of course, God the Father. So Jesus is saying here that whenever we welcome another person, we are also welcoming Jesus himself. And when we welcome Jesus himself, we are welcoming God the Father. That's a really interesting thing, isn't it? And so it also means that whenever we do small acts of kindness to another, for another person, then we are also doing those acts of kindness for Jesus and are also doing those acts of kindness for God. Whenever we honor another person or respect another person, we are also respecting Jesus and then also respecting God. So every gesture, every wonderful thing we do is like a link in the chain that connects us back to Jesus and to God the Father. It's a beautiful image, isn't it? But I think sometimes, in the ways that we go about our lives, we imagine that each of these little links in the chain is somehow a source of separation between us and between God. We somehow think that if we're here, if we're with this link, then we are really far from God here. And so sometimes we think we need to get rid of those other links in the chain. And so we get rid of them. Maybe we do something we shouldn't do. Maybe we dismiss another person. Maybe we don't welcome another person or even offer a cold cup of water to them as a nice thing to do. So we get rid of them like this. And somehow we think that when we do that, that we're getting closer to God, but we're not because what's happened is we have now several different segments which are separated in this beautiful chain that was. And Jesus himself has told us that actually those connections, those links in the chain are what make us closer to God. So we're going to put that back together a little bit. I'm going to repair those broken links in the chain. Because that's what Jesus told us to do. That while we might think that there's somehow a great distance between us and God, if there are other people in the chain, Jesus tells us that there is no distance. That Actually, those are the ways in which we become closer to God. So we're going to repair this chain. Maybe it, it is a glass of or a cup of cold water when it's hot to someone who needs it. Maybe it's making someone else feel at home when other people around you aren't making them feel at home. Maybe it's gathering together in prayer with other people because prayer helps connect us all. And so now we have this beautiful chain that is restored. And it seems, I know, that there's a big difference 
or a big distance between maybe me here and God the Father and Jesus Christ here. But it's not true because if you haven't noticed, this chain is really flexible. And so there's another person in the Holy Trinity that we haven't talked about, and that's the person of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is what connects us all together. So the Holy Spirit is working whenever we welcome another person. The Holy Spirit is working when we offer a cup of cold water to a person who is thirsty. And the Spirit, the Holy Spirit draws us together. And so even though we're here, and we have all these links between us and God the Father, the Holy Spirit binds us together. Because this chain can actually become a closed circle. I hope this image will help us as we go about our daily lives, as we can reflect on the ways in which we don't need to eliminate other people from our lives because we think they're getting in our way, or because we think that they're not important enough to be a part of our lives. And also that we should neglect our habit of prayer and the ways in which we pray together, hopefully when we can gather here again in person soon, and the ways in which we pray at home. And even when it seems like we're separated from one another at this time, when we're doing physical distancing, we are still connected like this great chain. We're connected by the Holy Spirit to one another, to God the Father, and to Jesus Christ the Son. In God's reality, in the world that we live in where God is a part of what we do and is a part of who we are and is at the center of everything we do, no link in the chain can get between us and God the Father. So every time we reach out to another person and honor another person, we are honoring not only Jesus, but we are honoring God. And in doing so, we are all brought together into closer relationship. And thanks be to God that the Holy Spirit can bind us together in such a wonderful way. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.